purpose of using range of motion too is to try to hit a position of optimal overlap. So that way you're working the muscle in a position where it's creating the most cross bridging. Now this is the position in the range of motion where your muscle is actually able to produce the most force. That's why it's able to produce the most force. Leverage, but also its ability to produce the most amount of cross bridging between the filaments, like on a biceps curl, for instance. When your arm is fully lengthened, you're pretty weak. Obviously, you have the longest moment arm in this position, but you're creating limited overlap between the actus and myosin filaments, which results in limited cross bridging. That's why you can't produce that much force here. You go to about 90 degrees of elbow flexion. That's when you're in a position of what's called optimal overlap, and uh, you're creating the most cross bridging between the filaments. Then you notice if you bend your arm all the way, you start to feel a cramping sensation, right? This is the position of excessive actinomycin overlap. They're getting bunched up and they're not able to produce the cross bridging because of it. And that is why you are weaker in the contracted position. So the reason we wanna go through an entire range of motion is to try to work and stimulate the muscle in its position of optimal actin and myosin overlap in which case you're going to be able to create the most damage between the filaments and the cross bridging and then of course produce the greatest stimulus to release the satellite cells and turn on the growth mechanism of your body so your body will grow bigger thicker stronger muscle tissue